Um, I think it's just wonderful that it's honoring these very unique uh, films this year and um, I know Rangana is really proud to be one of the people in the lineup. Unfortunately she's in, at Heathrow right now grounded on a plane so we're hoping that she'll be able to make it um, in the next couple of hours if she can get off. You talk about why this is such a very special story and why you think audiences and critics alike have connected so much with this woman's journey. I think it's a very unique piece from a place of the world no one's heard about um, and yet it's so timely especially with what's happened this year in terms of Me Too and sensitivity towards women. This film is really all about that so I think that's why although it's so unique and so foreign it's really connected with people and it's a very funny honest piece and essentially that's what people are looking for, something that's truthful. For a story that is so female centric, how important, how vital do you think it was to have a strong feminine presence behind the camera for the project? Essential. I mean, that's really what Rangana's triumph has been. She brings a real personal uh, insight to the project. And the reason why she made this film is because she resonated with it as a woman. Uh, it would mean the world to me, and I'm sure it would mean the world to Rangano, um, just to be appreciated for, for, this is the first film of its kind from Zambia, of this calibre. To have it be celebrated here is, is such a triumph for our country and for all of us as artists.